Meanwhile, a boil order remains intact around Manhattan this morning as residents await test results. KSNT News Austin Barnes is live this morning with the city's mayor. We join them now for the very latest information and how to find out if this will impact the start of classes as students in Manhattan Ogden School District do head back to school today. Austin. Brittany, now as we have been reporting all morning long, that boil order still in effect here in Manhattan. Now is what I want to do now is I'm joined by the mayor. So I want to turn to her and just get some comments about what things have been like here. Mayor Yusha Reddy, uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Sure. Now, what has life been like here in Manhattan over the last 24 hours? Well, yes, you know, a lot's been going on in Manhattan, and unfortunately, this just added to a little bit of other things going on. For example, people are getting ready to go to school and uh, for the first day of, uh, even for some of our K-State students that were back. But yes, yesterday, early morning, uh, the about 2.40 or so, they noticed that the water pressure level was low and, you know, the power plant had shut down over there. So once we got that going again around 6.30 or 7, um, mainly Colbert Hills area, Tataracks area, and Grand Mary area were the had the most impact with the low pressure levels. And then as soon as that happens, we have to report it to the uh, Kansas Department of Health and Environment. And they put out a uh, boil advisory for all of the city of Manhattan. And that's usually what's done if a water pressure level goes low. So by later in the day, uh, everything was back up to normal. Everything was taken care of. Our water pressure was back to where it needs to be. There was still some uh, caution so that people at Colbert Hills needed to conserve how much water they're using. But the advisory is still in effect for 24 hours. After everything was back to normal, um, our staff took samples of the water and sent it off to Topeka. And once it comes out as normal and no bacteria contaminants or chlorine residuals, uh, we should be back to normal probably by about this afternoon. We did our own samples here and everything seemed okay, even better than okay. But again, it's better to be safe than sorry. And we hope that because it's the first day of school, kids should probably still take a bottle of water and it is half day, so they probably won't have lunch this, this afternoon. So this is not the way you want to start off your first day of school or any day of the year. But unfortunately, that's the case. Uh, we're confident that the water is okay to drink and to cook, uh, but just to be safe, um, we would wait to lift the advisory till we hear back from KSHD. All right, Mayor Reddy, thank you for that. Now, of course, if you are getting ready for school this morning, just to reinforce what Mayor Reddy is saying here, all things should be well. Just remember to take that water bottle with you just in case. Now, the KDHE is the only group that can lift that ban. The city of Manhattan can only enforce it. And again, those test results are expected later today, and we will keep you informed as those become available. In Manhattan, Austin Barnes, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Austin, for that update. Of course, KSNT will keep you informed online and through the KSNT News app as soon as those test results do come back in.